The number one reason an infant would be hospitalized in our country, that respiratory virus known as RSV. And tonight there's a treatment to protect babies. The FDA has approved an antibody called Nirsevimab. The hope is it can prevent tens of thousands of hospitalizations every year. And joining us tonight to talk more about this is Dr. Harpreet Powell, the chair of the Department of Pediatrics at Jersey Shore University Medical Center. Doctor, thanks for joining us on News 12. How much of a game changer is this? This is a significant improvement for kids and families who are affected by RSV illness. RSV is a virus that's caused by respiratory syncytial virus, and that's the virus that causes a lot of kids to get sick uh, come fall and winter. So having an antibody that prevents against uh, sickness from RSV is a huge uh, game changer for kids. Now you, you mentioned it's an antibody, it's not a vaccine. Explain the difference there. Sure, so a vaccine is what causes people to develop antibodies against things like viruses. An antibody is actually providing people with the antibody itself that can target the virus in the body to prevent disease. So uh, slight differences between the two. The outcome uh, and endpoints are similar, but the way that they prevent disease is different. So you kind of touched on it right there. It sounds like this will prevent RSV, not just lessen symptoms. Correct. The goal is to actually pre uh, prevent or even lessen symptoms if children do contract RSV. So in some of the studies from this new antibody that have been uh, shown, it has a effectiveness at decreasing how, uh, how sick babies get by 75%. And it actually prevents hospitalizations in about 78% of babies who do get RSV. So walk us through what's going to be involved here for infants and, you know, the parents who bring their infants to the doctor. So the main uh, advantage of this new antibody is that it can be given to any infant who is um, uh, coming close to the RSV season. So that's typically fall and winter. The prior antibodies that were available were typically given to infants that were high risk. So infants that had prematurity or lung disease or heart disease, but this new antibody now can be given to all infants as long as it's time for RSV season. So typically it's one injection, intramuscular injection prior to RSV season and in higher risk infants that can be given a second time the next time RSV season comes around the following year. RSV, as you know, affects people who are immunocompromised, not just infants, it also affects the elderly. Does this drug have that potential or is it for now infants only? It does, definitely has that potential as well. And I would mention that on the horizon, uh, there's actually another um, vaccine that's coming uh, available in the near future and that's to that's given to uh, moms who are pregnant and that can develop antibodies in the mom that are then passed on to infants as well. So a lot of uh, really exciting developments in the field of RSV. And I would just like to mention that RSV is what caused a significant surge in pediatric respiratory illness recently and uh, EDs were overflowing with kids with RSV. So this really is gonna change uh, health for, for the better for kids um, uh, who develop RSV. Well, that sounds awfully exciting. A lot of good information tonight. Dr. Harpreet Powell, thank you so much for joining us. That's truly my pleasure. Thank you. This antibody comes from the drug maker AstraZeneca. It'll be marketed under the name Bayfortis. So it's already been approved for use in Canada and Europe as well.